In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the HD60 capture card to capture footage from the Nintendo Switch. Let's go. A capture card is a signal converter that allows you to record gameplay footages from your computer or your console. Without a capture card, you could not send signal to your PC, so your capture software could not read the signal coming from the console. This is where the capture card comes in. Connecting your switch to your capture card, capture card to your PC. Capture software will be able to detect the signal. This signal will be used for streaming on Twitch and you can even set the second output to a TV. We are in Shopee, a Singapore e-commerce website. So here we are looking at the Elgato Capture Card HD60. This is the best capture card in the market selling at $277. At only $96, this is the EasyCap 266 HDMI. HD60 refer to 60 frame rate per second. If you have a camcorder or a HD camera, you can use this capture card to turn it into a webcam. Let's place an order for this item. One week later. It has been about 6 days since we placed the order. All the items are here. So it comes with a USB 3.0 cable, about 1 meter in length. It also comes with an adapter for Type-C. It also comes with the instruction manual. Instructions are in English and in Mandarin. And of course, the capture card itself. So there's two ports here, the mic and also the USB 3. Here there's an output and an input. It's quite light. Okay, here's the model number. No power needed because it runs on USB. Next, we need to download and install the driver. The link for the driver is in the description. After downloading and installing the driver, do remember to shut down and restart your PC. Next, we will set up the hardware. We will need the Switch Dock Station. On the Nintendo Switch Dock, there will be three connectors, AC adapter, USB and HDMI out. We will need our Nintendo Switch. Connect the official AC adapter into the AC adapter port. Connect the HDMI cable onto the input side of the capture card. Connect the other end of the HDMI cable into the HDMI output. On the capture card output, we will connect another HDMI cable to the television display output. The last port is the USB 3.0. This will be connected to our computer. So here's the final setup, feel free to pause the video to look at the setup again. Before we can start capturing our footage, we need to put our Nintendo Switch into the dock. Immediately the TV will detect the Nintendo Switch. Next, we'll download OBS Studio. Click the link below to download, install and then restart your PC. So we are in OBS Studio. Click on the scene, click the plus sign to add scene. Give it a name here, we will just name it HD6 Demo. Click OK. Now we will add in the media source. Click the plus sign and click video capture device. Give it a name and press OK. By default, it will detect your webcam. We need to change it to EasyCap U3. Okay, the PC have detected the Nintendo Switch. It is currently mirroring whatever that is shown on the Nintendo Switch. Next, we need to set up the output file. Click on settings. Click on the output section. Leave everything as it is. Just change the recording path. Once you have changed it, click the X button. Let's capture some gameplay footage. You can use OBS to do direct streaming to either Twitch or Facebook. But for today, we're just doing an offline gameplay recording. Click on start recording and start playing. Once you have the footage that you need, click stop recording, click on settings, click on output, click on the recording path, our recording should be in here. So these four footages is the one recorded of my terrible gameplay recorded earlier. If you have stayed this far, please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it will really help the channel grow. Epilogue. And there you go, that's how you use your EasyCap HD60 3.0 capture card to capture gameplay footage from your Nintendo Switch using the OBS Studio. 
the capture card hd60 is comparable with the elgato capture card but at one third of its price which is definitely a good choice if you are budget or beginner streamer i will leave all the driver links and obs studio download link in the description below do check them out and remember to restart your pc after installing the driver if you have find this video useful do consider giving this video a thumbs up Subscribe to the channel as it will really help the channel grow and do join me in my live tip session every Friday, Saturday and Sunday after 9pm and I will see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe everybody.